What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today we have another Geography Now video. These videos are honestly amazing. So if you have not checked out the channel, make sure you do so. We got Geography Now, Denmark. I know that Denmark is a beautiful country. So yeah, let's jump straight into this one, man. In the Angola episode, I mentioned how I went to Denmark one time and bought a sandwich that was $21. Well, this what was that fuck? sandwich and my reaction was like, $21? Tw oh, this better be the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. You got lucky. <laughs> It's time to learn geography. Now, what is that more like known for like good food? That goes Vikings and Roy Roy Hey, that's a good start. If you're known for good food, then <laughs> I'm going. We got a lot to cover, so let's jump in. Twenty-one dollars for a sandwich. Jesus Christ! And Scandinavia, so much to discuss. Denmark is classified as a Nordic country, hence located in like the Northern and... European region, even though it's kind of like the southernmost state in the Nordics. Full disclaimer: Ignore Wikipedia. I'm gonna pronounce the location names in their proper Danish context. So here Aye. we go. Denmark is made of the Jutland, not Jutland, peninsula <laughs> that connects to Germany in the south, as well as 1,419 islands. Of those, huh? 443 are named and 74 are inhabited. With the largest island being Shelland, not what? Zealand, which is not to be confused with Dutch Zeeland, which is not to be confused with New Zealand, although they did get their name. I can't take it. That's too much information. <laughs> it is connected to Foon Island, not Finn Island, by the Great Belt Bridge completed in 1998. The country wow. is divided into five regions, the capital being Copenhagen, located on Shell. I have one of those to a myriad of historical sites, palaces, statues, residential units that are all the same height and style, with pockets of colorful, quaint, cozy. It actually looks really nice. Dangerous bicycle lanes that you are not supposed to walk on. Now, this is where things are going to get a little spiced up. And by spiced up, I mean freezing cold and covered in whale blubber. Denmark, for those oh, who great. don't know, is a kingdom, one of the last surviving ones in Europe and is currently under the headship of chain smoking queen Margaret the second these still fall under Danish sovereignty. oh shit I didn't know that the massive Greenland Island and the little Faroe Islands both of these places are radically different from mainland Denmark for one Greenland is primarily inhabited by native Inuit tribal peoples that live on the island and is 80% covered in ice year -round. oh my god Faroe what the fuck are a conglomeration of 20 -ish oh listen I I haven't seen like don't go mad but I haven't seen like the hobbit and stuff but like that looks Coffee like the hobbit rather islands that have this crazy looking lake that looks Looks like it's about to spill the over the cliffs into the ocean. These two areas have their own self-governing home rule. Otherwise, only depending on Denmark for military, justice, currency, and foreign affairs. Otherwise, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, historically, they did try to kind of create an empire by colonizing parts of the Caribbean, Ghana, India, and then in the Nicobar Islands. And the Indian uh, Ocean, but they kind of ran out of money and ended up selling everything to other countries. <laughs> Too bad. It would be awesome to see people in the Indian Ocean speaking Danish. Nonetheless, what is that the Danish Denmark, language? It's kind of like a fast-moving economic machine. Let's talk about how. Man, hey, I, I wish that they, he goes on the Danish fucking Vikings, right? Because they, I'm pretty sure they had them, right? I fucking love makeup, Vikings. Denmark is pretty flat. I mean, the highest point, Mullehoy, is only about 170 meters tall, and it looks like this. Otherwise, only about 13% huh? of the country is forested, including the tree plantations, and the rest is pretty much used for agriculture that can produce enough food to feed about 15... There's no way the whole fucking country is flat. Of their entire population. Good for you, Denmark. But one thing Denmark is actually famous for growing is non-produce plants, like grass, fodder, and Christmas trees. The highly sought-after Danish Nordman fir has been classified as the Rolls-Royce of Christmas trees, and every year, <laughs> investors what? from Germany, the Netherlands, and even the UK jump in at the end of November and grab whatever they can before it's wow. Now, one thing you need to know is that like many other areas in the Nordic region, Denmark's weather can be quite... Yeah, it looks First shit. All, Denmark is the only Nordic country that doesn't really get a lot of snow. Denmark is kind of like the mud pit located below the jet stream blocked by Norway and the UK. This means that even though it gets really cold, pressure systems rarely cause snow. This is also pretty much why everybody dresses like... Bro, imagine always be like freezing cold, but you don't get any snow. At least like, you know, when it's freezing cold, you kind of get rewarded with snow because who doesn't like snow really? But, uh, well, a lot of people don't like snow, but you know you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you're kind of re uh, rewarded for like how cold it is. Is, but Denmark, they just get freezing temperatures and no snow. Jake Fuck that. Fashion line model on the streets. If you're gonna get wet and freezing, you may as well look good while doing it. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, pretty much the rest of Denmark is just rolling green plains with sandy beaches and quirky little islands that people like to hop. Bro, that's so weird. If we were gonna talk about Greenland and the Faroe Islands, and they have so many of them. Radically different story of mind-boggling, captivating cliffs, bluffs, sea stacks, glaciers, fissures, icebergs, and mountains. If you don't know what a Mulan is, it's not this, but this. This Mulan is large enough to swallow a school bus. What? Ah! Uh, but we'll have to the say fuck that fuck is that? Come out in 9,374 years. In the meantime, let's talk about the people. 
What is that? Now this is gonna get really fun. Denmark's people are really unique in their cultural, historical, and postmodern upbringing. First of all, the country has about 5.7 million people and is one of the highest taxed countries what the fuck? in the world. Wait, I didn't realize how nobody lives there. <laughs> How little people is it? About what the hell? 80% of the country identifies as ethnically Danish. About 11% are other. Five point seven million. million? The other category being the Polish, Germans, Turkish, Romanians, Iraqis, and Afghans. Now, when it comes to Danish culture, there's a lot behind it. But in a nutshell, Vikings. Vikings pretty much have... Yes! Had their start in what is now present-day Denmark, and whom pretty much dominated all of the Nordic regions. As yes. Well as New Finland in Canada to Estonia, which is why most of the Nordic states and regions can pretty much understand each other when they talk. Yep. Danes, Swedes, Norwegians, and Icelanders can generally understand each other as they have the same basic linguistic structure. Sure, there are subtle discrepancies, but overall they can kind of get by conversationally. <laughs> Granted, there's a saying, the Norwegian and Swedish languages sound like dancing fairies, whereas the Danish language sounds like a dude with a potato in his mouth. By the way, anybody who wants to learn Danish, full disclosure, it's gonna suck. The J makes the Y sound, the Y makes the U yeah. sound, the V makes a D. But, but that's also the same in like a Swedish as well, the right? The U sound, the R makes a R sound, the H is silent half the time, a ton of the letters are never even used, and don't even get started on A, U, and O. I kind of discovered a little trick when o. I went to Denmark. When speaking Danish, all you really have to do is kind of like pronounce the first part of the word that you think makes a sound and then just kind of like give up on the rest of the word. For example, <laughs> Copenhagen, <laughs> I'm literally just listing names of places in Copenhagen that I've been to. Honestly though, you really won't have much of a problem getting around if you speak English. Over 80% of the entire country, mostly the younger generation, speaks proficient English to the point where they don't even need subtitles when watching American TV shows and movies. Wow. Also, keep in mind, Greenland has its own language that is completely unintelligible as it's an Inuit language closer to the indigenous Inuktitut and Yupik languages found in Canada and Alaska. And Faroese is pretty hard for most Danish people to grasp as it actually has more words rooted in the ancient Norse language and it's actually more intelligible to Icelandic. Back to culture though, Denmark has definitely left its mark, whether it's notable figures like author Hans Christian Andersen, philosopher Søren Kierkegaard, or whether- <laughs> That's actually how you pronounce his name. <laughs> it's not Søren Kierkegaard. It's- or whether it be the invention of the loudspeaker or Legos or their love of hands. Oh shit, they made Lego? What the fuck? Architecture, love of cuisine. No oh. in Copenhagen, by the way, being voted the best restaurant in the world with plates that feature live ants and moss. If you're really gonna. That's disgusting. Live. Live ants? And it's the best restaurant in the world. To get a feel for Danish culture though. What the fuck? Wait, hey, anyone who's Danish in the chat right now, do you guys like actually eat live ants and like. Oh, but it, like. Oh, no, 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 off everyday life looking oh how so do, good even if wait, wait wait how does how does that make any sense how can you be the happiest country but also the most used the uh, antidepressants during one of those really loud annual emergency drills okay christine explain what's happening right now then mark is testing the sirens for uh, <laughs> warfare yeah when we're being attacked by the germans again <laughs> i'm scared i'm really really scared right now let's run to the security basement <laughs> The Germans are coming! Speaking of Germans... Now, we all know that one person we're all kind of jealous of because they're kind of rich, well-adjusted, and have a ton of friends, and they're, like, kind of good-looking. Yeah. Well, that's Norway. Denmark is a little bit rockier. No, but seriously, for such a small nation... Yeah, I was going to say, like, everybody knows Norway as being a nice, beautiful, rich... You know, I, I really need to do jumping now, Norway. I really do, because Norway is... Oh, my... 
Norway is so fucking beautiful. Denmark has a huge entourage of friends, and it's almost kind of hard for anyone in the world to dismiss them at a party. As a founding member of the EU and NATO, Denmark has had roots planted in diplomacy for decades. First off, Denmark generally gets along with Germany. Business between the Germans is a hugely integral part of their economy, and Denmark acts like the gateway to Scandinavia for them and the rest of Europe. The US and the UK are incredibly close, as both tangible and cultural imports have been established for centuries. For a while, the Danes even took over parts of the UK, which is why to this day the English language which still retains hundreds of Old Norse-derived words like leg, dog, and window. What? The closest friends, though, would have to be the Nordic countries, Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Iceland. These four are, without a doubt, Denmark's closest friends, even though Sweden and them have kind of had more wars and battles historically than any other two states in the world. They've moved on and grown up. Out of the Nordic countries, though, Norway would probably be considered their best friends. Danes are obsessed Aww. with Norwegians and often consider Norway the girlfriend they took away from Sweden. In conclusion, Denmark is the rich, rainy rascal that always seems to show up on time for every party, but somehow gets all his work done in an organized, efficient manner. Stay tuned. Djibouti is coming up next. Very, really, really good video. Definitely going to check out a Norway video of that because uh, honestly, Norway is just so fucking beautiful. But really good video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, especially if you're Danish. How, what is it like over there? If you guys got any videos you want to recommend for me to watch, let them down in the comment section below as well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.